Hello everybody, welcome back to my studio. Uh, this is just another little tiny tip I'm going to give you. I'm just working on a fun little painting here and I'm going to show you something about how to use the brushes and then I'll just show you on my mountains um, a way that I can utilize this method um, to work on the mountains. So I'm just going to set that aside for a minute use the back of this board here. So there's a few different types of brushes that you can use. This is a bristle brush. It's uh, got a very um, firm bristles on it. So it, this is just a cheap one, but it tends to be a lot uh, firmer and you can kind of hear it there. Yeah. So that's a bristle brush. This is a synthetic. So this is, it's got a quite a springiness to it. Uh, it's just a synthetic flat. And then I have the brushes that you see me use most of the time here, which are my uh, fusion brushes. Now these are actually a really soft brush. They're actually like a watercolor brush. I'll share a link to them. Um, they're from the Jansen Art Studio. Uh, this is the color, the ones that I tend to like to use the most because I have the most flexibility with them. But what I'm going to show you is the effect of all these brushes on uh, brush dragging is what I call it, or is what it's called. So. Um, basically I want to create a fractured edge. So I'm going to just mix up a little bit of a color here, just some grayish color, just something nice and dark so you can see it. There we go. Okay. So I want to create like a fractured edge. So normally if you're holding the brush like this and you paint, and it's not too dry, you'll get like that, right? If I want to create a fractured edge, what I'll do is I'll take the paint and I'll hold my brush more flat like this, and then I'll just drag it across. And you can see what that does with the bristle brush here. It just adds this fracturedness to it. So um, that, instead of having a firm edge, um, I'll show you the difference between them. So that's the bristle. Uh, this here is if I took the synthetic and did the same thing. So the synthetic is going to give a bit of a different feel to it. It's going to look different. And then my fusion here, I'm just going to mix up a little bit more of this pink. Okay, so I'll just, whoop, I'll just show you this one again here with the synthetic now that I got a bit more paint. So I'm going to have it kind of go like that. So you can see it's a little bit different than what the bristle does. And then if I take my fusion brush and I do the same thing, I can get this kind of a fracturing. So that's what that's called fracturing. And it's really handy, I find, and sometimes you can you can kind of go back and forth with the brush to get it. Um, it works really well for snow and things like that. Um, here's another one with this one here. If I kind of go back and forth, you're going to get that more of a fractured edge as opposed to being, uh, you know, it's, it's more unpredictable, I guess is the way to put it, rather than having, you know, just a good solid line of paint. I want to have it where it isn't solid. It comes off like that. And that works really well for painting snow, painting grass, all those sorts of things. So I'm just going to show you here how I would use it potentially on here. So let me pull or wash that out. So if I wanted to say do some fracturing with the snow on my mountain there. So I'm gonna take my light color and I'm gonna just add a little bit of orange to it to make it nice and warm. Okay, so now I'm going to take this it's a nice warm snow color. I'm going to take that on my brush and I'm just going to hold my brush flat like this and I'm going to Come down the side of my hill here and just fracture that like that. So you see what it does is it causes, and I have it like flat so that the ferrule is just about rubbing on the board. It makes it so that 
it's not like a firm bunch of snow like here if I take it here and I go like this it kind of it it breaks off and so it's it adds interest to the painting um, adds interest to the snow without having it all like look the same so I can kind of take it like that and fracture it off um, I'll kind of come have some come down here and let it fracture off there just it adds that extra bit of interest to your snow on your mountain and makes it so that it's not all um, so that it's not all one uh, color you see the different ways that I'm using my brush here to uh, create that now if I want to do the same thing down here and kind of have some of the snow come down here and fracture a bit I just go like this and I can turn my brush a little bit that kind of thing and that gives that illusion of some extra snow in there without having uh, to paint a lot of like the individual bits so this is this is an impressionistic look at, at the snow so I'm bringing the snow out here a little further and just having it fracture off on the edges so you see how that kind of looks now like like it's snow that's come down the mountain I'm gonna put some on this side as well here just to, and I'll turn my brush on its side a little bit and kind of have it kind of come up the mountain a little bit there you can use this technique for a lot of different things I really I really use it a lot so that's just a fracturing of the brush technique that you might find useful I'm just going to take a little bit of my more violet snow here I'll show you the same thing on this hill here I got to go violet because it's the cool side so if I can add some more snow here you see how that looks looks like snow coming down the mountain now as opposed to being one solid piece if, if you get too much of the uh, paint on your brush you're gonna end up with a solid bit like I did there so I might end up having to I'll probably paint over that but you know I can kind of have that coming down my mountain and fracturing so you see how that fractured there uh, so that's that's kind of what I'm going for in this uh, in this little uh, bit of snow on my mountain so it's all in uh, it's all in how you move your brush and uh, that's one thing that is part of the fun of painting is deciding how you're going to move your brush and get the effects that you want so there that's just a tiny little tip on uh, on fracturing with your brush